Hi, Noblesville. I'm Mayor Chris Jensen. And as you may know, this week we're coming up on our 100th day in office. Now, back in February at our State of the City, we announced a new program called Noble Act, which is a paramedicine program, a program that utilizes community resources and helps those with non-emergency needs in our city. Now, I'm here today to talk to a friend of mine, Ben Luger, our first Noblesville Noble Act officer. Ben, would you share a little bit about Noble Act and what paramedicine is? So Noble Act is our ability and our ways to connect with the community that are suffering from mental health issues and substance abuse issues. This program is designed to get those individuals linked with appropriate services so they can be on the road to recovery. We're not wanting to be a criminal justice program and lock these individuals up. What we're trying to do is make sure that these individuals have linkages and direct contact with those support systems to make sure that their road to recovery is a success story. And while Ben is our first Noble Act officer, our hope is to train many more to be Noble Act officers and assist with our paramedicine program here in the city of Noblesville. But Noble Act just doesn't involve our police department, it involves our fire department as well. So I'm here today to talk with Chief James Mackey about how the fire department is reacting to our Noble Act program and paramedicine program. So Chief, tell us a little bit about how the Noblesville Fire Department is assisting with the Noble Act program. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. So the fire department is really excited to team up with the police department on the behavioral health initiative. We have community resource paramedics that will team up with Ben Luger um, to work on the initiative. Um, at some point, we'll also roll out other initiatives that relate to chronic disease processes, things like slips, trips, and falls within the community. Um, of course, right now we're in a time where there's a pandemic going on, so we'll take advantage of using these resources and these personnel to address uh, COVID-19, uh, to respond out with our frontline crews to help address those issues, um, and also to follow up with uh, people in our community. So during these trying times, please know that your health and safety is our number one priority. And the Noblesville Police Department and Fire Department are here to help. We are all in this together. 